Hi, Professor O. Hello, Ash. I have an important message for you. They're starting an official Puzzle League tournament, and you are selected as one of the challengers. <laughs> I'll go sign up. Pick up me. I'm so proud of you, Ash. Being selected for this event is such an honor. Well, there's no time to explain everything. You must hurry. Well, let's go. <laughs> Wait! Don't forget to come and see me in my office in Puzzle League Village! Yeah! Did you hear me, Ash? Eager to prove themselves... There's a fairly wide gulf between the canon of the Pokemon games themselves and the cartoon that all too often throws logic, sense, and game mechanics to the wind in favor of telling its story. Rarely, if ever, then, does a game come along that adheres to the madness of the anime. Pokemon Puzzle League is one of those games. If you've seen my review of Tetris Attack, you're familiar with the general gameplay. Swap adjacent blocks, form lines of three or more, eliminate, progress. Only now it's covered in Pokemon! Yeah! Yes, presumably due to Nintendo's policy at that time of not releasing any of the panel de pawn games unadulterated in the West, our N64 version of this puzzle classic comes with a veneer of Pokemon, complete with alarmingly advanced video interludes featuring Ash, Professor Oak, and that electric rodent. Our hero arrives at the Pokemon Puzzle League, hey, that's the name of this game, and immediately sets about being the best like no one ever was by crushing his opponents in head-to-head -head panel swapping action. Complete a combo or a large clear and you send garbage blocks to your opponent's screen, which can only be eliminated by completing a line adjacent to it, at which point the garbage becomes real blocks and continue to be a nuisance. This back and forth continues until one player's stack reaches the top of the screen, which is puzzle lingo for failure. Continue through the ranks of... Wait, aren't these just the original gym leaders? So it's Tetris Attack with Pokemon. The biggest change comes with the introduction of 3D mode, which wraps your stack of blocks about a cylinder. It's several times wider than the standard game though, so the challenge increases as you have to keep the opposite side of the stack in mind. A two-player mode allows you to impose your puzzle superiority on those around you, even if Eric has the audacity to choose Gary M. F. Oak. <laughs> the same line clear mode returns, though this offering is presented by none other than Team Rocket! The bastards. There's also a healthy selection of puzzles to complete, a series of tutorials, both static and interactive, and a non-stop marathon mode to test your skill. And a test it will be. The AI can be brutal, even on the easiest levels, so it's recommended you spend a good piece of time honing your skills before you try to be a Pokemon puzzle master. While the English-speaking gaming world might not be familiar with the Puzzle League slash Panel de Pond slash Tetris Attack experience, it's not for lack of trying. This is, after all, the only Pokemon game never released in Japan. And if you're looking for an intense puzzle experience, or a nostalgic remnant of the original Pokemon vocal cast, you can do worse than drop a few bucks to flip a few panels.